Hi, Gemini. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have a reading for you guys. This is going to be for July. Today is the 21st. Happy birthday to all the Cancerians. Their reading is coming up next. Uh, maybe not next after this upload, definitely, but uh, next in line for sure. And today we're using a couple new decks, Gemini. And let's see what we have here for you guys. This other deck's been shuffled. Let's see what we have for you guys, Gemini. And we start today with power balance have mutual respect and shared responsibilities okay gemini so uh don't do all the work and don't make them do all the work right we know how that is right let's see what we have here uh equality respect and care yeah see what else we have for gemini for gemini please and now we have back and forth changing your mind or being confused emotionally Mm -hmm. maybe you're unsure uh you know there's kind of a power balance that needs to be kind of maybe sorted out but maybe you're unsure about a relationship you could be uh changing your mind yeah uh and flighty and uncertainty uh i have a gemini rising so i can kind of relate to that right that's what they say about gemini's but i try to use uh i try to kind of you know mindful of that sort of right and so uh yeah and so changing your mind so maybe you have changed your mind or something or you want to right changing your mind let's see what else we have and uh, we have love's wings put aside differences to soar to the next level and this is divine devotion and ascend okay capric uh sorry uh gemini you might be doing this you might be maybe you are, have already changed your mind because you were see this the, you know you could have changed your mind here about a partner because you are emotionally confused like this could have already happened right and it could have made you uh feel kind of you know uncertain possibly but now you know this doesn't always have to be re about responsibilities the power balance it can just be about mutual respect it can it looks like uh you are maybe maybe you change your mind about somebody and you're returning possibly or you want to be with somebody here who is uh like you want to maybe you want to maintain more respect or kind of right establish that it's possible because we have put aside differences yeah and go to the next level sore all right sore yeah not sore when you know your feet are sore no brave don't self-sabotage somebody's afraid here whenever we see self-sabotage there's fear right don't no please don't do that right is there's a lot of work to kind of reverse that trust me there is right <laughs> and so let's see what else we have brave uh yeah mm -hmm. let's see what we got for capricorn uh for gemini i beg your pardon and so for gemini shine make yourself seen okay so this i feel like maybe you want to talk to somebody gemini and you want to speak to this person it's possible you want to tell them that you want something like you're going to respect them possibly and you changed your mind about a relationship possibly or something this could be about work possibly but it's not typically about work when we see love's wings right so let's get one more card be brave let's see what else we have and we have now the ghost commune with your guides okay talk to your spirit guides right uh seek counsel from them for sure and let's get into the reading for gemini today and gemini if you'd like your own private your own psychic reading i can help you with that uh to read the energy of you to help you with your own uh you know your own um insight right or you have questions about something and sometimes you can really help with that right we do i do the tarot spread at the end so we have two different readings and we have lots of fun we do them on the phone they're very personal also i can uh, help you with somebody like a partner somebody that you're not really sure about or maybe you have just met them right it's all going to depend here maybe you don't trust them maybe they just kind uh right climbed back to earth and you haven't seen them in 20 years something like that definitely could be so let's see what we got you want your chart interpreted everything is below i do tarot readings and you can check that out below uh yeah and let's see what we have and we have the six of pentacles and the eight i beg your pardon here and the eight is reversed four of cups some there's kind of a letting go of something here for sure there is and that's why somebody has changed their mind about something and that is very uh that is very kind of twinish or 
uh, mercurial for Gemini is, because I know, because my uh, for Gemini rising, right? You know, sometimes we just have to make a decision and live with it, right? <laughs> and uh, I know how that is, right? It's because uh, Geminis are smart, uh, you know, the third house of the mind. So, you know, when you're smart, you see all these possibilities, right? When you're intelligent, and yeah, you do. All right, we have the Ace of Wands in the reading, and this is the mindset. I want this opportunity that is very, uh, very, what's the word? Uh, inspiring, right? Very, or, or passionate. It, it's going to depend here with love's wings. It's about passion. So we start the reading here where somebody has changed their mind about something and they're no longer giving to a situation. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Or they don't see the return, possibly, because here's the Eight of Pentacles. He's getting a huge return here. Uh, he's working by himself. These are his Pentacles, right? And so he loves his his, uh, his craftsmanship or, you know, this could be about values, right? Where I no longer value something. Eight of Pentacles reversed, right? Uh, and so the eights are about power. So uh, with the eight reversed there, there's like, I don't have any power with this. This is not going to help me achieve. Uh, here comes the wind that comes every, I don't know, every... 15 minutes maybe maybe it's a half hour right I feel like they kick up more as the afternoon uh, continues and so let's get a card here for Gemini we have Gemini we also have I didn't show you guys the cards on huh? did I we have the hermit here maybe there's a Virgo in the recent past four of wands right and in the environment is change with the six of swords which is a transition So we have a huge change here, uh, a transformation, or may not be a spiritual transformation, but a big change. Transformation is change, right? It's death and an ending, right? It's a new beginning. It's a death and a new beginning. But uh, with the transition card, it's underway, right? It's underway right now. So there's some type of change that is underway. And the Four of Cups sits in the crossing energy. Something gets rejected. Here is the hermit here the hermit sits gemini excuse me uh sits in uh the root or why it's all happening with the eight of cups see somebody walks away from something here and they are trusting their spiritual energy with the hermit they're trusting their own counsel maybe they're asking for a friend possibly but this is uh trusting your intuition this is these are, these are cups too so it's trusting your intuition uh, I'm no longer invested in something eight of pentacles reversed in the past shows the there's something inspiring here. There's something not so inspiring. The past is the four of wands and we have the four of pentacles with it. And this is really beautiful. This is like uh, wanting to hold on to something, something beautiful, maybe wanting to get married, but wanting to hold on to something and create stability because these are fours, right? We add them up, we have an eight. And so eight is step into your power and to, in order to make progress. And the ace of wands is the mindset or that's what's on your mind, Gemini. Yeah, maybe you're traveling in this reading too because the eight of cups, he's traveling, right? He's leaving. And the six of swords, he's traveling too. Maybe you are really traveling somewhere. You could be the Knight of Swords. Uh, he's going somewhere. He doesn't typically talk about travel, but it could be uh, because he's taking action. And so that's what they do. And he's going pretty fast. Like he needs to get somewhere, right? So in the near future, we see Gemini, the, the Knight of Swords. And now we see the Knight of Wands. These are two knights. So this is action that's being taken with courage, passion, and inspiration uh, something maybe definitely with the uh, the most, you know, the violent knight here, or uh, I could say maybe the aggressive knight right here, Gemini, is somebody who is taking action, maybe eliminating something. And this could be why we have the four of cups here, right? Yeah, why we have that, the eight rather. Sorry, you guys. The eight of cups right there. Mm hmm. And I don't want my, my, um, my microphone not to work omg right and so nine of pentacles uh gemini and that is uh in the concerning so we have all these pentacles here in the concern I, this is about really believing or valuing something that is in the concern uh the concern could be gemini will you value whatever 
make sure you value whatever you are wanting here make sure you are and you are doing this i believe you could be walking away from something that's not fulfilling for something that you really really value and that is in your concern so you're concerned with that right this may have to do with your self-sufficiency or you becoming single possibly right and in the environment we see gemini the six of swords and here it is. Somebody may really love you in this reading, though, Gemini. I feel like they do. Put aside differences and soar to the next level. And this is, uh, right, and divine devotion and ascend. It definitely is. And we have the nine of wands. This is somebody who moves forward and they're resilient, but they're a little afraid. They're uncertain here. They are. Uh, yeah, they definitely are. And, mm hmm wow. And so we have... Uh, the emperor it could be Aries could be right here and uh, but this is you know I hope that it's kind of like what this is is I'm taking control of my life that's what this is about and hoping it's it's go it's gonna go well with the with the wounded warrior next door he's still you know kind of sporting a bandage here right and so these are completions as well and in the potential outcome Gemini is the ten of cups and it's really beautiful here and so we're going to leave it here because it sits underneath the Ace of Wands, which is very beautiful and passionate and inspiring. And yeah, and then we have also next to the, uh, the Ace was the Four of Pentacles. So somebody really wants to hold on to you here, right? Yeah, I feel like, yeah. So yeah, we're going to end this. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see the remainder of June's June's uh, horoscope on my other channel. I will pin that at the top of the comments. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit the little bell in order to be notified of my readings.